divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. Can spirits who are angels and spirits who are evil in their nature interact with each other? Yes, but it is under the control of the spirits who are angels. <laughs> in other words, the spirits who are angels are able to go from wherever their condition of love is. So let's, let's assume that they're in the eighth uh, sphere or greater. They are allowed to, tra to, go, to go anywhere in the universe that is, is as developed as they are in love or lower. So in other words, they can go to the seventh sphere, the sixth sphere, the fifth sphere, the fourth sphere and so forth. And they can go to the first sphere, and many of them do very frequently. And in the first sphere, in the lower realms of the first dimension or the first sphere, is where all the hells exist, where all the demons and devils exist. <laughs> and there are many angels, the spirits who have passed, who have become angelic in their nature, who decide every single day, as we would say in our terminology <laughs> here on Earth, to visit the locations of the hells in order to try to assist some of the demons and devils to become angels. And so they can visit them at any time, talk to them at any time, interact with them at any time. The problem faced by many of the devils and demons is that they don't wish to. And when they don't wish to, obviously these angels respect the wishes mm -hmm. or the will of the devils and demons. In other words, they, they don't try to browbeat somebody into becoming loving. They're waiting for them to have a desire to become loving. And in fact, it's a beautiful system God has made because God is waiting for each of us to have a desire to become loving. In other words, God is waiting for each of us to exercise our will that we want to be loving before we get help to be loving. Mm -hmm. And this is a very powerful and, and important thing that God does. The reason why is that it's very, very difficult to help a person who's unwilling to do anything. And in fact, it's impossible to help a person who's unwilling to do anything positive. The reason why is because we would be trying to force them against their will. So if their will is that they are evil and they exercise their will in that direction, it would be very unloving of another person to try to stop them from doing what they're doing. Unless they can restrain them, then that's fine. But, if the, if, but, but in the hills, they are already restrained. So in God's, terms of their location, they uh, can't actually go anywhere. Exactly, yeah. they, can't, they can't go anywhere out of the hills. They can't go from the hills to the second dimension, for example, mm -hmm. and try to infect people in the second dimension with their you know, evil ways and malicious, and malicious deeds. So the way God's made the system in the spirit world is very good. The, the only issue we face here on earth is that any spirit, because of the condition on earth, and the condition on earth is very much a first, first dimensional condition, a first sphere condition of love. As a result of that, the condition on earth is, is, is very similar to many of the hells. Mm -hmm. And because of that, spirits in the hells can influence people here on earth because it, they can easily transverse the gap because there is no gap from a, from a spiritual or love-based perspective. If every single person on earth raised their condition to the second dimension in terms of love, then no spirit from the first dimension or the hells could influence any of us. That's the reality. The reality also is that if we lower our condition on, on earth and we become more hellish in the way in which we interact with people and we're less loving, then we open and expose ourselves to more influence mm. from the devils and demons, if you like, <laughs> that exist within the spirit world. So even that is under our control. Yes. Our, our personal control, but also our collective control. With this question um, asking about angels and dark spirits interacting, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people have this idea about the battle between good and evil. Mm -hmm. Do good spirits and dark spirits wage wars with each other? Often this is depicted in mythology and things like that. So does well, that Well, it depends on which way you look at it. From a, from a love perspective, obviously no one who's in a condition of love would ever wage a war. So, so we're not going to see an angel with a, being violent. With yes, a, like the whole depictions of Jesus coming with a sword in the Bible. No, impossible. Yeah. 
Trust me, the only time I'm ever going to pick up a sword is to have a look at it. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> and put it down again. I'm never going to use it. And the same goes with a spear and the same goes with any other thing <laughs> that could create damage to another person, right? And the only time I'm going to pick up a knife is to cut up some fruit and veggies perhaps. <laughs> so the reality is all of these so-called things that can be turned into weapons would never be used by a person who's in a condition of love, ever, period. <laughs> That being said, um, there is a spiritual warfare of a type in the sense that uh, there are many, many uh, angels in good conditions, many spirits who have gone into that condition of one with God who are in good condition of love, who are constantly trying to assist people to get out of the clutches, if you like, of people who are evil. And the way you assist a person to get out of the clutches of an evil person is to help them address their fear of the evil person. Mm -hmm. Once the fear is addressed then it's very, very difficult for an evil person to influence you in any way. And so at the moment, there are on earth, there are a large number of spirits, billions and billions of spirits, in fact, who are in an evil condition, attempting to influence the earth. And at the same time, there are millions and millions of very, very lovely spirits who, who have a much more power than the other spirits, but, uh, but who are also more uh, conscious of the free law of free will. Yeah who are also trying to influence people on earth. And the people on earth are sometimes felt, feel themselves to be in this tug of war. Mm. And it does sometimes feel like a battle for their own soul. And in fact, in, in that regard, each person on earth is in a battle for their own soul. Who, who is going to win? Mm. Are, the, are the people who are evil in the spirit world and on earth going to influence us through our fear to do things that are evil and eventually finish up like them? Or are the people in the spirit world and on earth who are good that have a more peaceful nature and have a desire to love and desire for more truth, are they going to influence us in a positive direction and therefore cause our natures to become more positive and more angelic in, mm -hmm. in our behaviour? That's the question that personally faces each of us. And that does feel like a battle at times. And many of the evil spirits view it as a battle, by the way. So many of the evil spirits, the dark spirits, the so-called devils and demons, mm -hmm. Many of them view this um, battle for the soul of individuals on the planet as a real battle. And mm -hmm. they, are, they do everything in their possible power to harm people on earth and cause fear in order for the people on earth to be guided down into the same track that they have been. So there is a lot of uh, effort in the spirit world going on to not only help the spirits, the, the dark spirits, these evil devils and demons, mm -hmm who want to influence the earth and to try to help them get out of their condition. There's a lot of effort uh, involved in that. And then there is also a lot of effort uh, given to by these same loving spirits trying to assist all of the people on earth who want to love to, to try to help them understand love much more than they currently do and to become more loving in their personal lives. Mm -hmm. So there is this sort of battle going on but it's not a physical battle and it's certainly from a, from the perspective of the spirits who are in a good condition the angelic spirits um, it is it is only a, a, a battle for for love right? really yeah. it's not there's no, no violence in the there's battle. no violence in, yeah. in there from their end there are there is a lot of violence perpetrated by the dark and evil spirits certainly from mm -hmm. the spirit world towards people on earth and also in the spirit world there is a lot of dark and evil acts. There are, there are, in fact, entire wars going on still in the spirit world, in the hells of the spirit world, where there are wars between evil spirits warring with other spirits, and they have war every day, some of them. Mm. Some of them war all day until they're exhausted, and then war again when they feel energised again. And they go over and over and over this process until they realise that it's a never-ending, exhausting process that that something needs to change. And once they become exhausted, that's when these more loving spirits can actually assist them. So they are using their will. So there are certainly battles in the spirit world, but not between angels and demons. Mm -hmm. there's, there's battles in the spirit world between demons and demons mm -hmm. and between people in the hells, spirits in the hells, people who have passed into the hells because of their unloving actions on earth. And they often battle each other and try to harm each other and hurt each other and yell and scream at each other and violently abuse each other and so forth. And they often try to have people on earth do the same thing. They are, are often perpetrators of wars. They try to create wars in order to watch the destruction that goes on as a result of war. 
they try to perpetrate all sorts of violence, both vi violent sexual violence and, and abusive violence, uh, in order to create problems for people on Earth, in order to heighten the fear. Mm. And when they have a heightened fear, then they get satisfaction. They feel satisfied from that. And this is where we on Earth need to start making different choices because we don't realise collectively how much most of our choices and decisions are being influenced by these dark and evil people who have passed over into the spirit world. Oh, thank you. Mm. But in terms of the angels themselves, they have a really positive influence on us. And in fact, almost every positive advancement that's ever been made on Earth has been made through the suggestion of one of these so-called angels. It's good for our egos, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you start realising that that good idea didn't come from me. Yeah. <laughs> it came from someone who's in a better state than I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very generous with their assistance. Yeah. 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 And they're even willing for us to claim it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, when we arrive in the spirit world, we realise that perhaps we got the suggestion from someone else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 